we doing? Good. How you doing? How you doing? You've been here for a couple years. What's the what's the difference heading into this off season? You know, the vibe, the optimism. Is that accurate to say going into this off season? Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like this team is the most bought in we've ever been. Um, I think that's the biggest difference. Guys are bought in. You know what Coach Campbell's uh, uh, preaching us the brand of football that we want to put out there. You know, etc. So I, I think that's that's the biggest difference right now. What does being bought in as a team? Look like, you know, what does, what does that mean heading into an offseason? How, how can that propel things going forward? Um, you know, we're all rowing the boat in the same direction. You know, um, we all know what's expected of us, and we're all sacrificing whatever we need to in order to get there, to reach our goals. Um, I, I think that's really what it's all about, you know. Everything might not look exactly how you want it to look. Your role might not look how you, you want it to look. But if it's for the best of the team, it's for the best of us winning, getting to a Super Bowl, you know, uh, winning a championship, then guys are going to do it. And that's where we're up. we are right now. Dan was talking to the team after the game yesterday, during the celebration all right in the locker room. He said a couple of times, this is the springboard. What did that mean to you as a player and, and, and your teammates? Yeah, I, I think we needed to go through this year in order to have the success that I know we're going to have, um, you know, in the future. Um, but, you know, no, this team is, is built on grit. This team is relentless. This team is determined. And all those things that we went through this year, they're all going to pay off for us because they're going to still show up. We're just going to be winning. You had a lot of guys get, get playing time, actually, you know, game day playing time. How important was that? Talking about young guys? Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was huge. You know, obviously, it's known. You know, we have a young team. We have a lot of guys who weren't very experienced. You know, at the beginning of this year, and, and those game reps are going to uh, pay dividends. You know, they've been put in great game situations now, critical situations, um, in, in which th they'll come up again in, in later games. And knowing that they've been there before, they've taken those reps. You know, that confidence that that comes from taking those reps and being successful in those reps is going to help them. You just understand the little things of being a pro too that, that they've gone through and helped the whole year of it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just from coming in the building and. And, and preparing yourself and watching the vets and, and seeing what it means to really take care of your body and really invest in your body and getting massages and getting treatment and, you know, doing all these things that is really necessary to last in a season that's now 17 games, which is, is tough to do, um, as you know. And we've hit quite the injury bug, but I, I think all those things are very important to be able to see just from a veteran standpoint, see how these guys conduct themselves, how they how, how they are a, a pros, you know, every single day, you know, how to be a pro. Um, so all that stuff's huge. Just wonder, could, could guys feel the 17th game? Was there a little extra weight there? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so, without a doubt. <laughs> you know, what was different about this coaching staff this year to kind of keep you guys bought in through all the brutal times, three wins on the season? I mean, keep fighting until that final whistle. What was different from the coaching staff? And, like, how much did that have to do with those guys being so many former players that have done that? Yeah, I think that's probably the biggest um, difference is – the fact that so many of our coaches have been in our seats. Um, that's huge. I haven't really been um, in that position before, really, where I had, you know, like when I was first getting coached by Deuce and having him and, you know, Deuce played 10 years in the league and, you know, he's been to a Super Bowl, he's won a Super Bowl. You know, like I hadn't had a coach like that before. You know, a coach like Coach Campbell who's played 10, 12 years, you know, whatever Coach Campbell plays. So those things are huge for us because it's like when you hear them coaching, you hear them saying the things that they're saying, like, you know, it all comes from experience. You know, they've all been on the field. They've been through those situations. So I think it brings more merit to their coaching and everything that they say. When we look at the standings, we see a three-win record. You feel like this is a three-win team? Absolutely not. Um, I mean – being a three-win team, that's not team. That's not acceptable at all. Um, but we know where this thing is going, and we know getting through a three-win season is, is, you know, part of that journey, part of that process. But we're we're trending in the right direction, especially, you know, as you saw in those last six games of the season. So we're going in the right direction. Jason, uh, coach notified us Aylin was relieved this morning. He said the offense is going in a really good direction. So how does it keep progressing from here, and what does the outlook look like for the offense specifically? Yeah, I mean, obviously the injury bug, you know, hit us pretty bad this year. So obviously the first thing will just be getting healthy, you know, getting guys back, um, back right and, and ready to go. And then um, obviously the draft, you know, the draft's going to be huge. You know, we'll add a couple key pieces, I'm sure, you know, to this team that are going to really help us win. So that, that'll be huge for us. Do you feel optimistic about it going forward, about the offense? Last absolutely. Guys? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm very optimistic. Um, <laughs> You know, I think these last six games, this last stretch, you know, JG was looking really comfortable. You know, that was really good to see. You know, he was in there standing in the pocket, making big throws, taking shots downfield. <clears throat> 
as you guys saw, you know, Saint has really come alive, you know, these past few weeks. Uh, so you've just seen a lot of guys stand out, a lot of guys take advantage of the reps, you know, that they're getting. And I, I think when we're at full strength and, and, and full health, you know, we're going to be a really good place. Thank you.